Another foul is nail procedure coming up. This chap had had nail surgery done twice before, both with phenol, both total nail avulsions. He's a footballer and runner. Had grown back and was quite dystrophic, despite the procedures being carried out completely expertly previously. We'll just get some regrowths. Both first, as you can see, this is a picture of the right foot clearly. You can see he's got a very soft proximal nail plate and then becomes somewhat thickened and dystrophic. And it was still quite symptomatic when he runs. So we shall do something incisional this time round. There you go. As always, the woman doing the job of three men. Right. So I'll probably start the video again there, Steve. So we're just going to say we're just all nice and numb there. Weren't there was, there was, there was no, no sense of things. Now, no. you can't change your mind. If you, you can't not feel nothing. No. You kept him. And I won't, um, I won't swear him when you insert him. Uh, oh. Well, honesty is always the best policy. What I'd say is. If you do feel any pain during the procedure, Steve, um, the quickest way to get hold of me is an email, okay. or you can ring my secretary. Just let me know, okay? As soon as you can. So we put a bit of, so Steve, half of it will be talking to you, the other half will be talking to the camera, okay? Yeah. So tourniquet on, guys, so there's no claret while we're doing it. Which I had to explain to a patient what that was the other day. I said, oh, yeah, you forget how you get these little colloquialisms. Now, if you want to tell you any of the other toes while we're there, because I think they all look a bit... They all do look a little bit, bit, yeah. If you, you want to do anything else, you can. Well, it's very, very, very tempting. Well. I absolutely love these tourniquets. Not. All right. I think I've watched too many Guy Ritchie movies. I said, a bit too much of Claret. You know, it's all a little bit... Are oh, we still in shot there, sister? Yeah. Awesomeness, right. So the first thing I'm going to do... We're all prepped and clean, but just, just for the camera, we'll just do a little bit more. Now, the first thing we have to try and do, Steve, is get that sorry excuse for a nail away, really. Yeah, it's um... Now, we've got our nice sets today, so we've got these really nice elevators. So, I'm never quite sure what these ones are called. Are these McKeevers or Thickling, Sarah? Do we know which ones these are, these, these nail elevators? I'm going to try and find a name for you. Because we don't get normally the nice ones. What does it say on the pack? It says Fickling Elevator. That's a hell of a name, that. Helen, your job is to keep sure that we're still in shot. Oh, this is a bit tight, Steve. I'm so glad I can't feel that. Well, I am too. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd have to take the sound off the video. Oh, don't be blaspheming, Steve. Oh, yeah, sorry. It's nearly Christmas. <laughs> his birthday and all of that okay so this so just to give a bit of background i'll probably put a little something steve when i put your video together but you've had nail surgery how often um twice before uh-huh before. and where was that done so that was done at st elsewhere wasn't it not don't say who but that was done in Rushton. in Rushton. okay i don't know i can't remember the place there, but the, in Rushton, yeah. so trying to get what's left of nail so that's really in a bad way Thank you, bye, Jim. So that's not great. The nail, the nail, such as it is, but it's, it's kind of half nail and half just. That's a bit suspicious there in terms of nail, and then you've got when, other bits of bobs. When they've done it before, they said that I've got a very thick nail there. Yeah, it is fairly tough. I'm out of shot. Yeah. Thank, thank you very much, sister. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. I found a new new unit of measure for thickness the other day. As thick as a boxing day turd. I was quite pleased with that one. I'm quite pleased with that. I'm not sure if I'm going to put that in your notes, but I was quite pleased with that one. I might have to edit that out of the video. So we'll get this is all skin around here, Steve. Skin and a bit of muck. Now, when we do these as a primary procedure, you can really see where the nail bed is and the nail root is, but this is all a bit irregular. So the idea with doing something, you'd had phenolization, I think, yeah, twice, twice before, so the idea is it kills the root. Now, we do, we like the phenolization, it's a nice technique, but you do get some regrowth. So um, it's, and if you try to put some acid on that, still in shot there, sister. Yeah. It's just a case of saying, well, where would you put the acid? Because the root is actually, I've not really exposed all the root yet, but the root is sort of underneath this and it's 
it's all a little bit irregular. So we're going to do the Fowler's technique. So we make a cut there. Uh, it took about 18 months to write back the first time, but this second time it's took about seven years, I think. You know, six or seven years. Oh, so it's over a long time this has been this a bit. Is, yeah, this one this, this took a long time to go through this time. But go through it as. So what we do is we raise a little flap. So we'll, we'll try and upload this as a video, Steve, see if we can get this as a, as a little Blue Peter, this is how you do it. But then we're going to follow you up over a few months because we want to see how it goes and do a, ideally in the new year, a little, oh look, this has worked out really well. <laughs> so this kind of exposes where the root is underneath that. So, and you want to stay fairly superficial and then take out where the root itself should be. I'll, I'll look away if I don't like it. Yeah, well I do too at this bit. I can't stand <laughs> the sight of blood. <laughs> so we take a rectangle of tissue out. You're out of shot, dude. I'm out of shot. Oh, not me, it's the patient. He's, he's changed yeah, his mind. I'm, I'm looking at that, not that. Yeah, don't look, see. <laughs> so, the, the tricky bit for this as a primary procedure, Steve, is working out what's root and what's nail bed, and it's the root that you want. Because yours is so abnormal and dystrophic, so that really should be root. But then we have a little look and then we'll see. So you want to be down to bone. So there's a little bit of soft tissue there. Oh, okay. oh, oh that's bone. Well, is that bone? I can't discuss a patient, I'm sorry. <laughs> so then we use our curette. I reckon when that anesthetic wears off, this is going to be a bit of pain. Yeah, well, it, it can be a little bit sore. Um, um, have you got my mobile number, Steve? Uh, no. And that's why. <laughs> this is going to smart a bit in the morning. Still in shot there, house oh, bells. Yeah, I <laughs> so these are all the little bits, and you've got to go down the side and try and get these little yeah. bits of basically anything. You can't tell macroscopically what's nail bed, what's root, yeah. and what's just connective tissue and gubbins really so we go with the classic surgeon if in doubt cut it out which works really well as a strategy but it's also quite scarry so I do this technique quite a lot and this is one of the more difficult ones I've done to work out what's what's normal and what's not so so I really want to make sure we get anything out that's a bit suspiciously looking like it could be um, Rooty, so I'm just going to just going to go in a little bit there. It's a bit different to the technique you had before, Steve. Obviously, and this is why yeah. we get this kind of the cheeky ones here because we like to do these. Well, she did, she did rough up that bed last time with the scalpel, so the acid got in it and on the second time. Yeah, yeah. Was a bit annoyed, I come back.
there. And then this is, again, I'm just a little bit suspicious of that. So bear in mind, this is like, you know, number three. We'll just be that little bit more aggressive and just say, do you know what? We'll just take all that out as well. Next time we'll take it out to the hill. Well, there is a there, there is a technique where we take off the toe. It's called a it's called a lapidus procedure. I have done it. It's not my kind of go-to, <laughs> and we basically go back to here. We take the tip of the toe off. It's very effective. I've only done it a couple of times, but we've never had any failures with that one. Right, sister. Bit of juice just to clear out some of the sawdust. So I, it looks really clean in there. The thing is macroscopically you can't tell you could send little bits away and under the under the microscope the guys could say tendon periosteum root now do we have a glamorous assistant with some scissors so you come around just to cut these sutures for me Chuck. so we'll put a couple of stitches in there So you do still have a very thick nail bed, Steve. Although in this instance, that's not the worst thing in the world because I've actually got something to suit you to. So we had a patient in last week and um, it was an ex-doctor and he wanted to put his own stitches in. So I said, uh, suit yourself. <laughs> I do what I can. Uh, I do what I can. I do. In fact, he wanted to administer his own anaesthetic as well. I said, well, knock yourself out. <laughs> but, you know, best I can do at short notice. So it's, uh, certain jokes have had to be retired. I had an Elton John joke that I did for years that's been retired. The penguin joke's been retired. It's a shame. It's just a different world these days, Steve. <laughs> so I ran a course a couple of weeks ago and I was joking with the guys well such as it well I thought I was joking saying the penguin joke's been retired and there's only one person in the room who'd heard the penguin joke she went yeah that's probably a good one to have retired so I've had people email me for the last two weeks sending me penguin jokes saying is this the penguin joke I said no it's not the one so you can't know it's been retired Helen. It's been, it's been officially retired as you know in the modern day can't do those kind of jokes anymore Alrighty, so that is clean as a whistle. So that's our got a nice neat wound. So the idea is Steve basically is then we, we take this flat back, take the root out, hopefully, stick it back, and then you get a nice neat wound. You'll end up a little bit, I think, with a little bit of thickening of the nail bed from all those years, because it wasn't just a normal root bed, it was all a bit dystrophy. But that was it. Now I've done a couple of these. Yeah. That was more difficult than the average. <laughs> Because it's number three. But hey, anyway, well, you know, I am, I'm as confident as I can be. So I think what I'll do is we'll try and turn this into a YouTube video, and then we follow it up. We'll do some more, and then if it grows back in six months' time, I'll take the first video off, and then nobody will see. No, yeah, okay. right, yeah, that, yeah. That's what I'll do. Have we got? Have we got a bandage, please, sister? Do you know what bandage is, Helen? Bandage. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's French for bandage. Very good. Um, yeah, so that's a very interesting question actually. So there's a, there's a whole kind of like rule of thumb in terms of tone occasion, you've got to make sure you take them off. I kind of like to do it lastest so that you've got yeah. the wound covered. Yes. Yeah, um, yeah, no, we'll, we'll use them again. I think we can afford them. Yeah. We've actually got the other toe to do as well, but yeah. uh, viewers. I hate these done case, so I'll actually, mm. we like Steve, so we'll, we'll open up another pack for So you could, the, the, there's an argument to take it off when you can see it. Yeah. There's an argument to put the dress, dressing on and then take the bandage off. However, you want to make sure that you don't leave the tourniquet on. Yeah. That is not a good look. And that has happened to various people over the years. Hence why there's a whole policy on tawny case so put a little bit of a bandage on see because you can end up with just a little bit of bleeding through yeah. now i know we've got your other toe to do now normally i'll do them concurrently 
Uh, we've obviously tried to kind of video that and we'll keep losing the shot on the camera. Um, so thank you for that. Um, I'll just go around on the old four foot so the whole thing doesn't slip off in the night. Questions so far, Steve? Um, what I've got to do is the guys are changing dressings and things like that. Nothing. Just, nothing. No. Nothing stays on. You've got it, yeah. So we'll see you really about next week. Leave that in place and we'll, we'll take the stitches out. Ideally, this side of Crimbo, just so that depending on how it's healing. Have we given you a. We probably haven't got another appointment, have you? No, not yet. No, okay. okay we'll work on that. All right. And that's, it. that's us. So that was a Fowler's, albeit a tricky one. So we'll turn the video off and then we'll play with the other foot. So as I mentioned in the video, he actually presented with both sides to do. The left nail was more dystrophic than the right, so I thought, well, I'll video the right one because that would go neater, and of course the left one went neater than the right. The only issue was the left one did have a moderate post-op bleed, which I obviously fixed up before we let him go. So I'll do some post-op vids when we've seen him a few months down the line, and I'll post these in due course.